G'day. If you've watched my last video, you'll know the values of your cubic numbers up to 12 cubed. If you know those numbers, then you're capable of working out very, very rapidly the cube of any number from 10 up to 99. And I'm going to show you how. The old-fashioned way of doing it, of course, I'll, I'll do over on this side. If I wanted to know uh, 23 cubed, for example, we would multiply 23 by 23. 3 threes are 9, 3 twos are 6, 2 threes are 6, 2 twos are 4, 9, 12, carry the 1, 5. Then we would multiply this result by 23 again because 23 cubed means 23 by 23 by 23. And we go 3 nines, 27, carry the 2, 3 twos are 6 and 2 is 8, 3 fives are 15, twice 9 is 18, carry the 1, twice 2 is 4 and 1 is 5, and twice 5 is 10. And we would get this result. That can be rather tedious for certain for large and complicated numbers. Two and three were quite simple here because there was basically nothing to carry. But I want to show you a little bit of theory first, which comes from our understanding of algebra and expanding binomial uh, expressions. And we need to ask ourselves, if we have one value plus another, for example, 20 plus 3, but we'll talk about that later. If we have a plus b and we wish to cube that, what does our answer look like? Well, it looks like this. I'll, I'll do it the long way and then talk to you about a short way as well. We're going to use this result uh, in the next two videos as well. So it really does pay to be able to understand it well. Here's a binomial product. And uh, those of you who know about FOIL, uh, I, I generally refer to this as a claw. It's a bit more interesting for my students. Uh, we get a squared plus ab and another ab is 2ab plus b squared times a plus b. And then we get a cubed plus 2a squared b plus AB squared, so that A now has multiplied all of those, and now we multiply them all by B. B times A squared is A squared B. B times 2AB is 2AB squared, and B times B squared is B cubed. And you can see that we get A cubed, I've lined these up because these are the like terms, 2A squared B and A squared B is 3A squared B, and AB squared plus 2AB squared is another 3AB squared plus B cubed. Now, you might be wondering how this can possibly be simpler, but bear with me. First thing I want you to notice here is that the coefficients are 1, 3, 3 and 1, which if you looked at my last video, you'll remember comes from Pascal's triangle. Notice here the coefficients, when we just had a binomial product here, the coefficients were 1, 2, 1. And when we cube, instead of square, we get 1, 3, 3, 1. Uh, if we took the fourth power, we would get 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. You might remember that each number is the sum of the two above it. This is a delightful little triangle and very worthwhile. Now, if you knew about Pascal's triangle, you could have gone straight to the result rather than do all of this. Because you would know that you would start with a cubed, and the next term would have a squared, then a, and then a would disappear. And at the other end, you'd have b cubed, and b squared, and b. And in each case, you have three uh, factors multiplied together. a cubed a squared times b makes three factors, a times b squared makes three, and b cubed makes three. And the coefficients come from this triangle. 
enough seed. How do we use this to make life a bit easier for ourselves than this? Well, I'm going to erase this and uh, demonstrate the same result for 23 cubed. If we wish to cube 23, then imagine that we have 20 plus 3 cubed. I'm going to show you a slightly better way of setting it out shortly. The first term is going to be 20 cubed. That's the A value, is 20. Now, what's 20 cubed? Well, you know that 2 cubed is 8. I told you that it's important to know these cubes. So 2 cubed is 8, and... 20 cubed is going to be 8 followed by 3 zeros because 20 times 20 times 20 will have 3 zeros attached. So in fact, we're going for this value, we're going to have 8,000. How do we do this? A squared B. 20 squared is 400. 2 squared is 4. 20 squared is 400. Times 3 is 1,200. Now we could multiply that by 3 in our head as well. We will do that this time. So we've got 1,200 times 3 is 3,600. This one here, we've got A times B squared. Now B squared, 3 squared is 9, times 20 is 180, and 3 times that is a bit hard. So we can write the 180 down, and then to make sure we've got 3 of them, we just double the 180. 360. So we've got one of them there and another two of them there makes the three. And writing it in two steps makes it a bit easier than having to multiply by three in your head. That's if it's too difficult. B cubed, three cubed is 27. Now we have to add all these together. Now what makes it easier is this. I recommend that you draw four vertical lines. These are going to be your units, tens, hundreds and thousands column columns. Now I don't mean for you to necessarily write these letters at the top, but just to have the four lines. When you cube the first number and get 8,000, it's really just an 8 here. So I just ignore the 2, the 0 rather, and I just say 2 cubed is 8 and I know it goes in the thousands position. The next number is going to have two zeros and the next one's going to have one. So the next one will go in the hundreds position. What is a squared b? I just go two squared is four times three is twelve times three is thirty six in the hundreds position and that's my thirty six hundred. I don't bother writing the zeros in. When we come to three a squared b I just go two times three squared is two nines is eighteen now, if you know 318s, so it's 54, you can do that straight away. Or you could write it twice. I'm going to write 54. And then the last one, b cubed is 3 cubed is 27. So what actually happens is instead of doing this, we've actually written this. And if we add them up, we get 7. 4 and 2 is 6. 6 and 5 is 11, carry the 1. And we get 9 and 3 is 12. And I think you can see the results are the same. People who do not know their cubes cannot do this. And uh, I want to demonstrate this to you a couple more times. Not this complicated looking way, but with the four lines. And show you how well it works. And then I'd encourage you to try it yourself. Just dream up some number, a two digit number, cube it by hand and then check it with your calculator. So there's no need for worksheets or anything like that. It's just a useful skill and uh, although you might not use it a great deal if ever because you'll use a calculator, the fact is you're learning some number structure and you're also learning how algebra or an understanding of algebra can help you in your calculations and there's some rather neat tricks I want to share with you in future videos. But let's uh, 
let's do another couple of these. Now here I've chosen two rather difficult ones. Uh, the numbers are fairly, oh three is fairly small, but seven, eight and five are reasonably large. And uh, let me say at this stage, if you've got this far into the video and you do not know your cubes, then I encourage you to go back and look at my previous video and carry out the exercises. And uh, hopefully within a matter of half an hour or so you'll know them quite well. Let's uh, find the cubes. Now, strictly speaking, in this kind of equation setup, we don't uh, perform our calculation in columns. So I'll do it on the side of the page and write the answer here. I'll draw my four vertical lines. And the first thing is to say, what is 7 cubed? Now, you know it's 343. And the last digit is going to be in my thousands column. Then I, instead of cubing this, I now square it and multiply by 3. So 7 squared is 49. What are 349s? Well, they're very close to 350s. So it's 150 take away 3 is 147. Now I don't want to cube that in my head, so I'm going to write 147. Not cube it, rather than triple it, because we need 3 of these. And I'll just double it so I've got all 3 there. Twice 7 is 14, carry the 1, 9, 2. So between them, I've got th the value of 3 of those, 1 of those and 2 of those. Next I do 7 times 3 squared. Now 7 times 9 is 63. Do I feel brave? That's fairly easy to cube, to triple. Uh, 3 3's are 9, and 3 6's are 18. And then I come to the last one, which is 3 cubed, is 27. We just add these up. Carry the 1, we've got 8 and 8, 16 and 4 is 20. Carry the 2, we've got 10, 16, 19. Carry the 1, we've got 5 and 3 is 8. Well, that's a rather large number. 389,017. Now we've probably got just enough room to do 58 to calculate 58 cubed here. So again, four columns. What is 5 cubed? It's 125. 5 squared is 25 times 8. Well, that's 200, and that's easy to cube, or to triple. Keep saying cube. Then we do 5 times 8 squared. Now, 8 squared is 64. And 5 64s is a bit of a shortcut for multiplying by 5. You divide by 2 and multiply by 10. So half 64 is 32, so it's 320. And triple of three, tripling 320 gives us um, 960. And 8 cubed is 512. Let's just add them up. 2, 1, 1, 5, 9, 1. So we get 1, 9, 5, 1, 1, 2. Now, I did rush those two. Uh, I perhaps used some slightly more sophisticated multiplying techniques. I find this much faster than going through two long multiplication procedures. And also, despite the fact there are lots of numbers there, a very large proportion of it is, is simply recall of cubes that I already know. So I'm not actually calculating nearly as much. But there it is. That's how to calculate cubes of fairly large numbers uh, by hand, but using your knowledge of cubes up to uh, 9 cubed. I hope that's helped. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I'm going to explain how to find cube roots of numbers. Uh, actually, I've got two videos on that. The first one will be how to find cube roots of perfect cubes. And there are other videos on, on YouTube about that. I just want to share my slant on it and then I'm going to show you something that doesn't seem to be on YouTube and that's how to calculate a cube root of any number uh, up to a certain size of course. But I'll leave it at that. If you like the video please click the like button. I'd love to read your comments if you could leave one below the video and uh, please subscribe so you can find out when the next videos appear and I thank you for watching.